super excited. I don't know why it's like making noise. It actually matches my, oh, hello, Johnny Walker. Why don't you sponsor me though? Like, hashtag spawns with like the matching blue velvet dress. Happy vlog, miss everybody. Day two. In honor of Trisha Paytas, I'm gonna film this entire vlog that's on my kitchen floor. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so we're here in the kitchen. I watched yesterday's vlog, I gotta tell you, it was fucking boring. Now, I don't think anyone wants to see me do nothing for the next 25 days, so we're gonna have to change it up in some way. Um, so today, I'm gonna show you some hashtag Healthy hacks. That's right, folks. I'm here with my juicer. Let me show you. There it is. This thing. And it's a slow juicer, which means it's not the electronic kind you can just shove whatever in. It's pretty tedious, but you know, you want to maintain the vitamins in the. Oops. Oh, fuck. So I'm going to make a juice, but I'm going to share with you some other healthy hacks and I'm going to show you how I make juices basically with scraps and other really inexpensive produce. So, okay, we're going to do this first. I'm going to make the juice, then I'm going to show you a few other things and maybe I'll show you what I got because we went grocery shopping yesterday. Okay, so the first thing that you should be saving to make really inexpensive juices with is the stems from broccoli. Obviously, they're super nutritious and... Most people don't want to eat them. Most people throw them away, although you can eat them. They're tasty. Um, so instead, I just save them, and they're filled with water, and then I juice them. So I have a whole thing of that. I always use a lemon or lime. Not a whole one, but like a half one in my juice because it's so good, and I feel like those are pretty cheap. So whatever. Um, all right, well, I'll show you the, ha the hacks. Okay, my other hack is uh, if you eat romaine a lot, save this part to juice. So I basically will just like have my grocery for, for however many weeks, save all these different scraps, and then like maybe once a week I'll have enough to make a nice juice. I used to juice all the time, every day, and it was really expensive, but it wasn't like I could afford it, it was just like I felt it was like wasteful after a while. Okay, then I had some parsley which I use. Now I could use the rest of this, but I felt like I wanted to just save it for my juice. Um, okay, cucumbers are really good, and if you get the non-organic ones, which I, they're not as good, but like I usually buy them because organic cucumbers are way too expensive. You can use like a half a cucumber, it gives you so much water. If you want something like cheaper, I think, are zucchinis cheaper? Zucchinis are really good to juice. If you have like the nubs from the zucchini, you can juice that. Um, oh, celery is amazing to juice because it's really cheap and it has a ton of water in it. So, you know, those are like the main things I juice, but I want to show you the another, another tip. So, if you guys fuck with kale, which I do, look how pretty this is. I just bought it yesterday. Ooh, my thumbnail. Okay, if you fucks with kale, oh, this is better lighting, then take your stem of kale, or your head of kale, and you can de-stem it, because most of the time you're not going to be using those stems in cooking. Most of the times you won't use the stems in cooking. You just, see the stem, you just go. Ugh. And then, once you have all these, you juice these, because these are filled with water. And then you have all your de-stemmed kale. So it's kind of like, perfect. Those are my hacks for juicing. Now I will show you another healthy hack. One, I only have one more for now. Oh, here's a healthy hack. It's not really a healthy hack, but don't you hate how when you get tomato paste, you need like a tablespoon for a recipe, and then it just goes bad in your fridge? So what I do is, I'll use the tomato paste I need, and then I freeze the rest of it in the ice cube trays, and then they freeze into these like cute little squares, and then when you want to use one, you just throw it in. Or you can like break them up, like they, because they're not really, don't have any water in them, they break up and thaw like in two seconds. So, there's another hack. Okay, so. 
Here's my other healthy hack. Oh my god. My hands are so cold. Fuck. Okay, I learned this in Thug Kitchen. You guys know that book? This book? Thug Kitchen? Everyone knows Thug Kitchen. So, I learned in Thug Kitchen, I feel like vegetable broth, if you want low sodium organic veggie broth, it's quite expensive. So, the kitchen was like, just make your own veggie broth, take all of your vegetable scraps, throw them in a plastic bag, leave it in the freezer, just keep adding to it, and then once the bag is full, you boil the crap out of it and that's your veggie broth. So that's what I've been doing, and this did not take me long, you guys. And this is also good if you don't compost, because like, who composts? I want to, but I just don't know what to do. But this is a really good way to save your scraps, not throw them in the trash. Of course, I guess you could just throw your vegetable trash out into the dirt, it wouldn't matter. Anyway, I thought this was really smart. I can't wait to make veggie broth out of it. And it smells really good. I think that's all my healthy hacks for now, guys. I don't think I have any more. I think that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna make this juice. And yeah, maybe we'll just like hang out in the kitchen today or something. I don't really know. Like a what I ate or something. I don't know. Let's make this juice. Finally, fucking shit, man. This is peanut butter and banana on Ezekiel bread. I have the peanut butter layer on the bottom, and then I mush the banana on the top with a fork. I have my juice. I'm gonna take my digestive enzyme. so that I can digest all these delicious greens. And this is good because I want to be eating a fat with my greens to help digest the nutrients as well. And then I have protein in the bread and the peanut butter and carbs on the fruit. So I'm gonna get energized. And that's how easy it is. Okay guys, we're back. It's 3.33. Today's been an interesting day. Just gonna have to my sister. We talked a while. She's gonna be coming up tomorrow, so you'll see some videos from that. But I guess I'm just gonna wrap it up for Vlogmas today. I hope that you liked my healthy hacks. I would keep going, but I have plans tonight, and I'm clearly not ready for them, so I want to be able to get this up in time. Let me see, do I have any other healthy hacks to share with you guys? Any other healthy hacks to share? Hmm. No. Um, healthy hacks. Healthy hacks. Any other healthy hacks? No, I don't. I don't. Okay, so there's no more healthy hacks. <laughs> Let's see. I freeze a lot of stuff. Oh, here's a healthy hack. If you, uh, if you, well, basically a healthy hack I have is I freeze everything. If it's going bad, I hate wasting produce. So. Even if I have like a zucchini that's going bad, I'll peel it, cut it up, and freeze it, and then throw it in a pan when I want it. But another healthy hack I have is, if you are a person who likes to eat spinach, or um, whatever, if you want to use spinach in a recipe, it's a lot cheaper to buy frozen spinach than it is to buy like a big thing of it. Is that a healthy hack? Do people like spinach? I don't fucking know. Healthy hacks. Um, oh, here's a healthy hack. If you like green onions, you can after you use them, as long as you keep the root. Oh, these need water. After you use your green onions, you leave the root and put it in a wherever in a cup of water, and it will regrow. So it's like you never have to buy your green onion again. Assuming you don't use it a lot, because it's gonna take some time. Um, any other healthy hacks? Yeah, here's a healthy hack. Um, this is also from Thug Kitchen. It's, if you like to make waffles or pancakes, but you don't like to take the time to measure, measure all the stuff, you can make a pre-made mix, and I keep it in a mason jar because it's like fucking cute. And I have like the little instructions here, and it's like, if you just want pancakes, basically just take some of this and make some pancakes, you know? You don't ever have to fuck with it. Um, healthy hack, healthy hack. If you buy rice in bulk like I do, I just like have a devoted container for my rice. It goes here. So you always have rice. Um, I guess that's it. I don't think there's any more. Those are all my healthy 
ugly hacks. Um, so I think those are basically all my healthy hacks. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Hmm. Frozen bananas, obviously, we all know about that. But yeah, I think that about does it. I want to have time to get this up. So, you know, it's not going to be a prize every day. Also, tomorrow will be more exciting because I'm going to film some footage from the concert I go to tonight. So there'll be more, more going on tomorrow. And tomorrow, Dan and I are going stocking stuff or shopping. So actually, it's going to be a really good video. Okay, so stay tuned for that. I hope you have a great Friday. And thank you for watching episode two of Vlogmas. See you next time. Goodbye.